All right, guys, I just got this equipment right here. Um, obviously, the chicane and the new version of the zigzag uh, meant to work together. Uh, well, the zigzag can be a standalone uh, DRT device, but if you want to use it in SRT mode, they expect it, Petzl expects it to be used with the chicane. And not only do they want you to only use it in this combination, they specify in the rule book that you should only use it with what they call their H-frame carabiner. That's the language that they use. And the reason for that is this hole right here and that hole right there have, um, I think you can see it in the, the picture, they have a keyhole design that matches up with the profile of the carabiner. So when you put this guy in here, it'll rotate all the way around. Then you can open this one up and drop this guy in here. Um, because we're filming, it's a little awkward to show that closely. So I'm gonna do this one independently and uh, you'll see this piece slides. I'm not quite sure and I should probably look at the directions closer, but you slide it out of the way and it and it takes a little bit of force to get in there and to make that turn. It will go, I'm not gonna do it while we're filming, but you can kind of work it down and it'll make the turn at the end. But we don't need to do that because I think the way, think the way that I would use it, since this turns more reliably here and then open it up and slide it in. So the reason I'm making the video, however, uh, is to show uh, about that keyhole right there. It allows for the carabiner to wobble a little bit, um, but they're kind of saying that you should really only be using that carabiner um, or, or their H-frame style. So what I'm doing is I gathered up some of my carabiners and I wanna go through and see which of these will work in both of these holes right here. And um, my definition of work means that the carabiner will go in and rotate around um, so that it doesn't matter which way uh, which way you're coming in either one of them first so uh, I've ranked them in order of the ones that I think are least likely to work to the ones that I think that are most likely to work um, if any of them at all work so let's start with this guy it's a ISC uh, climb right and Oh, geez, I didn't even think that would go in there. It actually feels pretty good, and it holds about as secure as the H-frame uh, one does. Uh, I don't think it's going to make the curve, though, so that would be a limitation. And this holds a lot tighter. Yeah, that's not going in at all. So, so that one's no-go. And same brand, but it's not a, a tear-shaped HMS carabiner. And it's not even going in at all here and and it will not go in in there either so uh, no go on this guy let's, here, this will be the ones that do work and these are the ones that that do not over here so we'll go old school petzl william um and that will not even go in just for kicks it will not go in that one either. So we'll go with, uh, that's an ISC. Geez, I don't remember the name of this one, but a Mighty Mouse maybe? And it is going in that guy, but I know there's no way it's gonna make that curve right there by the amount of force that's needed to get it in. And I can also tell it's not gonna fit. Yeah, there's no way it's gonna fit in that one. So we'll add that to the no pile. Um, I think because of the H frame on that one, this one is less likely to work than the DMM. So we'll see Petzl. Uh, oh, come on, buddy. Yeah, it's not going in there. Not no way, not no how. And whoa, that actually... That actually works and spins around, kicking it old school. So if you want to use this uh, DRT, you can rock the old 
at least the plastic uh, plastic gate ones, which I think are recalled. Um, okay, so let's check this guy out. This does have the H-frame design. However, if you look at the two of them side by side, the channel right here goes all the way through to the tip of the gate on the Petzl Caribbean. And on this one, it doesn't. You can see there's like a bit of a bulge right here. So I don't think that's, oh geez, that actually went in really smooth. And it does make the turn. Um, I'm gonna take that out. I know it'll make that turn. But let's see, it's also got to fit in here. Oh, no, nah, it's not going in there. So you could use the DMM, um, geez, what do they call it? Is it just called the oval? Whatever, you could use it DRT style. Um, so that leaves these two carabiners. Uh, the ISC Gator is so tiny that, okay, that, that, ridge right there isn't letting it make the turn um but let's see if we can put it in here Ugh. yeah look at that oh that's too tight down at the bottom so that won't work so you could get away with using this it doesn't feel right and it's got a lot of play in there um so then that leaves the dmm Perfecto. Oh, geez. That, there we go. Whoa, that one won't even rotate. Come on, buddy. It's funny that this one's harder to rotate than the the larger uh, oval. Okay, so that's turned all the way around. Let's see. Oh, I think we got... Nah, it won't work. So... I'm just noticing this now that the H frame uh, channel right there doesn't go all the way around. So we can get this guy in right here, but not get it fully oriented. Uh oh, there we go. Perfect. So let's take this one off again. And at least for my carabiner collection, or the ones I could scrounge up right now, that means we're quote unquote stuck with uh, the Petzl carabiners to use, use this system. So um, let me know if you find something that will work in place of this, because I don't like things that are, you know, single purpose or, you know, there's less, uh, what do you call it, functionality to it or, or versatility, knowing that I need to have that certain carabiner, but right now with my collection, I definitely do. So, cool.